With confidence in our armed forces, we will gain the inevitable triumph, so help us God. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall never surrender. Let every nation know that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship to assure the survival and the success of liberty. Welcome to the CAF Air Power Museum, dedicated to the preservation of the memory of the men and women who built, maintained, and flew the historic aircraft of World War II. The CAF Air Power Museum strives to tell the complete story of World War II aviation and the struggle for freedom. Freedom lost and freedom won. World War II began and ended with the airplane. From the German Blitzkrieg to the Atomic Age, the airplane played a decisive role in the outcome of the war. But behind every engine is the story of brave Americans who served with determination on the home front and sacrificed in combat far from home. Theirs are the stories of food rationing and long hours on production lines that surpass the combined war production of all the Axis nations. Tedious marches across hostile terrain and the terror of combat. Their tales of strength and courage give voice to the generation who stood for the cause of freedom. Most notably, the American Combat Airmen Hall of Fame is an honor that recognizes Americans who served in any war or conflict and who distinguished themselves through personal sacrifice, courage under fire, and faithfulness to their country. Each year, the commemorative Air Force inducts seven airmen and one combat unit who served in war in a manner that reflects credit upon the fighting men and women of the United States. Their bravery provides insight into the lives and minds of the servicemen and women who fought in our defense, giving combat a real and compelling face. In the cockpit of every aircraft is a person, a different person with his or her unique tale. Major William Berry, for instance, who sent his crew out first after their bomber was hit over Italy, jumping last into the wintry Alps, 250 miles behind enemy lines. Or Colonel Bernard Fisher, who landed his plane in enemy territory to rescue a fellow pilot, literally pulling him head first into his aircraft. These individual tales of heroism are many, and they are inspiring. Most important, they embody the fighting spirit that characterizes our American heroes in the face of danger. <laughs> 